was thinking on these thoughts this morning. Um, Ecclesiastes 12, you know, that's where um, last chapter of Ecclesiastes. Remember uh, Solomon, King Solomon asked for wisdom, and God gave him wisdom. And, and uh, so, um, I'd like to just kind of just read. Um, Read the first few verses there. Remember also your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come. And the years draw near when you will say, I have no delight in them. Before the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are darkened, and clouds return after the rain, and the day that the watchmen of the house tremble, and mighty men stoop. And, um, so, remember... These are memories, uh, the mind. Uh, I guess I'd like to talk a little bit about the mind in the context of this wise advice. Yes, I'm married to a psychiatrist. <laughs> we talk about the mind a lot. Um, uh, hey, I, in school, um, when I was in high school, when I was first become a Christian, this, there was a fellow always preaching the gospel to people and. I heard some of the other kids say, oh, I'll think about that later, or, you know, I want to have fun, or, you know, the reality is they want to have their sin, and then they'll think about God and the gospel later in life, when they get, when they grow up or something, you know, and I, I've never heard of any of them yet to think about God uh, and the Bible after that, and you wonder if they ever have, if they ever will, um, but I, I, I was honored in the last two years, as you might know, I would, would visit regularly once a week with uh, two men um, who were in their 90s, and I watched them live these, uh, the evil days came that someone was talking about. These the last days of their lives. Watched them die, you know. Um, and it, it seems to me that there's a point when the mind just drifts. You know, um, uh, like a like a toy a toy boat that a child puts in the water. You know, you go to push it, and it may not be pointed in the direction the child wants it to go, and it it goes off the wrong direction. Uh, but once that boat's let go, it's that's it. Its destiny is already determined. Right at that point, it, you can't catch it, bring it back. It's it's gonna it's. Its, its destiny is pointed where it's pointed at that time. And it just kind of seemed that way um, to me. You know, what, what your mind is on now, there's a, there's a point, and, it, and your mind is going to be that way. It's going to go that way when you get old. And young people are different in that sense. Uh, they look forward to what's next. And my brother, Daniel, probably get started to be hearing every morning and say, hey, what, what, what's plan for the day? You know, what's up to today? And you know, your kids say, what's up? You know, that's, what's up next? What? And, it, and and I think about that, and, um, you know, you think of young men going into the military, you know, and I think maybe, you know, Caleb, you know, Stoltz going to go in the military, and they always talk to someone that's already been in the military, that's there already, you know, what's it going to be like? What's, what's, what's going to happen after recruiting? And, What's boot camp going to be like? You know, what, what's it like? You know, you, you ask, I mean, wise young people ask older people, what's, you know, for advice? What's it going to be like? You know, and you think, uh, you know, younger women, you know, the young ladies might ask an older lady, you know, what's marriage going to be like? What's, what's it going to be like to have kids? What, you know, you want to ask someone that's been there and done that, right? You know, when you, you know, you think about death and heaven and, you know, What's it going to be like? What What's next? What's What's after that? Yeah. You know, how wise it would be to have someone that's been there and done that, right? I mean, you know anybody that's died and come back out of the grave? And well, I do. <laughs> do you know anybody that's done that? You know, has anybody, any of these religious leaders in the world, ever done that? Jesus has done that. And so, um, but these these fellows in their nineties, you know. Um, they didn't, didn't really think about that. You know, remember where it says, 
Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come, and the years draw near when you'll say, I have no delight in them. He didn't delight in thinking about what's next. He didn't talk about what their plans are next, what's next. Because death, I mean, they were just days away, you know, and, and even hours away when I left Solomon from death itself. And, you know, I would want to talk about God with them, or, you know, try to talk about heaven and what's next, you know. Kind of steer the thought away, you know, just maybe, I don't know why, um, you know, it, I mean, they're used to putting off the thoughts of death all their life, and I, I don't know, but for sure the brain starts to malfunction just like every other part of the body. You know, I, I, I watched them from the outset, like I say, I, I entered in and sat with them as the evil days came, and their muscles withered away, and their joints were malfunctioning, and their organs start to malfunction, and and the brain being an organ, it starts to malfunction. <clears throat> they couldn't finish the sentences or couldn't remember something, or couldn't think of the word trying to say. And really couldn't, you know, if they put off thinking something through all the way, like God and heaven and hell, judgment to come, you know, what's fulfilling in life, all these big thoughts, if they put them off, it's like they weren't, they, they weren't even able to, to do it now. If they put it off, they wouldn't be able to do it. They wouldn't, yeah. they couldn't. And so, you know, remember that boat, that destiny was determined where it was pointed at the start. And remember your Creator in the days of your youth. It will determine your destiny. And so, I'll read, I want to read it once more through. Remember also your Creator in the days of your youth. Before the evil days come and the years draw near when you will say, I will have no delight in them. Before the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are darkened, the clouds return after the rain. In the day that the watchmen of the house tremble and mighty men stoop. The grinding ones stand idle because they are few and those who look through the windows grow dim. And the doors in the street are shut as the sound of the grinding, still, grinding mill is low, and one will arise at the sound of the bird, and all the daughters of song will sing softly. Furthermore, men are afraid of the high places and terrors in the road and almond tree blossoms. The grasshopper drags himself along, and the caper berry is ineffective. For man goes to his eternal home, where mourners go about in the street. Remember him before the silver cord is broken, and the golden bowl is crushed, the pitcher by the well is shattered, and the wheel at the cistern is crushed. Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, that's our body, and the spirit will return to God who gave it. We want our mind to be pointed in the direction of God. And remember your creator in the days of your youth. Thank you.